So I just wanted to touch base on some things here. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me to give some new fabricators quick tips. Uh, when you're mounting, you're, you're trying to figure out your thread depth. A lot of guys like to run the thread all the way to the top because they think that it's stronger and it's not going to break. Um, if you run your nut all the way to the top and you run your uh, setup like this, this is what will happen. So if you take a hard enough hit and your link goes like that, and your link is big like this one's going to be, and your link doesn't bend, it's, something's got to give somewhere so it just snaps this off because this has nowhere to go. So it's going to start to bend, but because there's nowhere for the material to move, it just snaps the head off. So this actually came out of uh, the Pastrana truck about 10, 12 years ago at the World Finals. Um, so we're going to come over here and I'll show you how to figure out where to set it. I like to set everything with about that much thread showing so that if you do take a massive hit, it'll bend. Worst case scenario, it bends a little bit. Uh, this sucks because you lose your axle and the side of your truck gets wrecked and you drop your drive shaft and tear everything, your shocks and everything apart. A slightly bent rod end sucks, but you obviously hit it hard enough, but it's still gonna hold you together and you can keep running it and uh, it doesn't cost a whole bunch of money. Now, <clears throat> the way you tell how to set thread, or the way I do it, is I always put my jam nuts on my joints and I'll thread them all the way up. These ones I custom made because these nuts are so thick. The, the other ones are only a half inch. This is like seven eighths. So I had to extend the thread for this particular job and I wanted them to have adjustment and it being a two inch shank, it requires more than most. So rule of thumb is the diameter. You want at least the minimum engagement is the diameter of the thread times 25%. So this is two inch, so we're gonna go 2.25. So we're gonna mark it there, and we're gonna measure in between. And it's 1.82. So we have 1.82 inches we can play with. So I'll take that number and I'll divide it, <coughs> which is 0.91, which is that mark right there. So my optimal setting is gonna be with the face of the jam nut set there. And then that also gives me 0.9 inches either way to adjust it. So that's <clears throat> 1.82 inches of adjustment, which is 3.5 inches overall <clears throat> on your truck that you can play with. So if your links are out or whatever. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was Never ever, when, when you get joints from somebody or you go to weld them in your links, never ever leave the joint in the tube insert when you weld it because uh, like I was talking about before, the hole will oval or change. People leave the joints in because they think it holds the, the hole true. Uh, the problem with that is if it doesn't and the hole pinches, it jams on your joint and you'll never get your joint out. At least if you can't get your joint in, you can always pull it out and run a thread chaser or something through it. Um, you should also never ever run a joint into a hot bum. Make sure it's cold uh, and thread it in, put anti-seize or something in it and thread it in gently. And if it sticks, tap the top of it with a hammer and back it out slowly. If it jams, stop, cool down, and then slowly take it out. Otherwise you're just gonna cause yourself a whole bunch of problems. The other thing I wanted to talk about was mount widths. Everybody thinks that you should mount your not everybody, some people think that you should mount your mounts really tight to the joint body. And the problem with that is we run into this again. So uh, this one was a combination between, I think it was, actually I think this stem would have bent, but you can see on this joint, there's a mark here and a mark here. So it, it tagged, it tagged the uh, mount because the mount was too tight. And then when it couldn't go any farther, the jam that was right here, so the stem couldn't bend, so I, I think that's actually what popped it now, coming to, because you can kind of see how the housing's curved. Anyways, so what you always want to do is you always want to make sure your mounts, when your joint's at a full angle, that your mount doesn't connect with the body. And that will always ensure that your stem lasts longer. And the other thing it does is it helps keep your jam nuts tighter. So one of the leading causes of jam nuts coming loose is when your housing's this tight and you're flexing and the, the rod end 
smacks the side of the, the mount, it'll over tighten your joint and then loosen it. And that's what breaks your jam mounts loose. That's why monster trucks can't keep their jam mounts tight because their mounts are way too tight. But uh, that's like Clay's quick tips for the day.